What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and to another discussion video for Battlefront 2. We're trying a new format with this one, and before we get started I have to give a shout out to another Star Wars YouTube channel, Thor Skywalker, who is the one who inspired me to try this discussion format. He runs weekly polls on his channel about general Star Wars topics, and then comes back at the end of the week to have a discussion about it. I wanted to try this for Battlefront 2, and if this happens to work, I definitely want to start doing this more. I like it too, because I can get your guys' input and we can actually have somewhat of a back and forth. So without further ado, in today's video we're going to look at the results and go over the comments on a poll I ran asking you guys which of the two new modes you like better in Battlefront 2, Instant Action or Co-op. Both rolled out with the cooperation update just a couple of days ago. Instant Action is an entirely offline, single-player experience where you get to go around a map, capturing command posts, and fighting bots. In co-op, you team up with a group of three other human players to fight a team of bots and capture command posts in a turning point style game mode. Instant Action is definitely more laid back since it's offline, but co-op also has a very competitive atmosphere since it's fast paced and you gotta stay on your toes. One's offline while the other is online, but they're both great additions to the game that I think Battlefront 2 really needed. So now let's check out this poll. Looking at the results, a total of 3,300 of you voted, and two-thirds almost exactly voted in favor of co-op, and almost exactly one-third voted in favor of instant action. If I were shown these poll results before the update dropped, I probably would not have believed it. I was under the impression most players were excited more for instant action, but after playing a round of co-op once the update dropped, I do understand the appeal. It might even be a little bit unfair to compare these two modes because one is completely offline for yourself and the other is online with a team of players. So it's possible that the results of this poll might be a bit skewed in favor of players who only play online. Instant action really is there for the offline crowd. They're both great modes though and a fine addition to the Battlefront 2 collection. Let's now move on to your guys' comments and we'll start off with the top rated one first. This one comes from Crimson Leonis, who says, All they need to do is put in friendly AI heroes and the rest of the AI heroes, the rest of the AI reinforcements like Droidica and Clone Commando, bring in AI-controlled vehicles, and then maybe Starfighters, and bam, you got my favorite Battlefront 2 mode. And here, I'm assuming you're talking about instant action, since we don't have AI vehicles in that mode. And yeah, I gotta say, instant action has become one of my favorite parts about EA's Battlefront 2. I'm one of those players who grew up with the classic Battlefront 2 from 2005, where I had nothing but instant action to play, so I'm really happy that it's in EA's Battlefront 2. But on the topic of the AI heroes that are missing in instant action, that's in fact a bug. All of the Clone Wars heroes did ship out with instant action, but a couple of them don't spawn. I had a news update video I put out yesterday, which I'll have linked below in the description, and it should be popping up in a card in the top right corner now. It's got all the details on that bug and a few others, as well as some developer insight on the problem, so definitely check that out. Moving on to a comment from AM, they say, Holy crap, I had more fun in co-op than I expected. The only thing instant action is missing is split screen. And I'm hearing this exact same thing being said by many players. Co-op simply surprised them. They did not expect it to be that fun. I'm also hearing the split screen comment come up a lot. It seems a lot of players, like myself, grew up with the classic Battlefront 2, which did in fact have split screen capabilities in instant action. It's a bit of a bummer that we don't have it in EA's Battlefront 2, but we gotta keep in mind that they just rolled this out. I'm sure they're going to be adding on more to it and introducing more features as time goes on. Split screen seems to be something that the community really wants for instant action, so it wouldn't surprise me if they eventually put it in there. This next comment made me laugh. It's from What's It To Ya, who says, IA needs more AI bit of a palindrome effect there. But yes, I completely agree. Right now, instant action is only 10 versus 10. Your team of 9 bots plus yourself versus a team of 10 bots, and it makes the mode feel pretty empty, especially considering the fact that the maps that are currently available are some of the biggest in the entire game. Like I said though, they're constantly going to be adding more to instant action, so hopefully in the future they expand the player count on each side. Okay, this next comment comes from DJ Thundergod, who says, Both are awesome. It's a huge breath of fresh air from annoying players and horrible lags. Instant action gave me the same feeling I had with the original Battlefront 2, only you get to fight AI heroes, which is better in my opinion. Just add more AI heroes and heroes from other eras, and it'll be more awesome. I have to agree. In my opinion, instant action is the most immersive experience in Battlefront 2 right now and it's a really nice change of pace to get away from the competitive atmosphere of multiplayer and just enjoy the game the way it was meant to be enjoyed. I like to hop into instant action and turn my HUD off to get the full cinematic effect, and it's really immersive. 
Hopefully, Instant Action will be expanded into the other eras so that we can play with those other heroes, like Luke Skywalker or Darth Vader. Next comment is from Riverdale Tales, who says, Bro, no lie, co-op is low-key very fun. I thought it was going to be lame. And I think you're not alone here. I think most people actually expected co-op to be maybe not terrible, but definitely not as good as it turned out to be. Apocraft Production says basically the same thing, with co-op is God. Zack Seal agrees, saying co-op all the way. Andrew Dembuski says, I like co-op because you can level up. The only issue is that I've already played through the whole map rotation twice, and being the same sides every time isn't very fun. That's a good observation, and I want to make the note that in the community update video, we were informed in October we will get the chance to choose our side. Since co-op is set up as an attack or defense scenario, depending on the faction you're on, that's what your objective is. So it's a little bit of a bummer that we can't choose just yet, but next month that will be an option. Cyclo4189 says, I would have said instant action had they included all eras, but until they include all eras, I'm enjoying co-op more. Which I found kind of funny, because co-op also is, right now, a Clone Wars only experience. But I think I understand what you're saying. Instant action is meant to be that mode where you get to set up the game how you want to play it. The fact that there are limitations on the eras and the heroes that we can play as is a bit of a bummer. Just keep in mind that instant action will be expanded on, and hopefully they bring the other eras into it. Hamza Guamza says, First impressions on co-op, delete the effing Vanguard, please. And yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I think I probably died to Vanguards more than anything else when I played co-op. These bots have pretty damn good accuracy. These next two back-to-back -back comments say almost the exact same thing. KL Productions says, I would pick instant action if it had split-screen mode, and Logan Winsher says, instant action would be funner if we had all eras and if it was split-screen. It really sounds like a lot of you guys want the split-screen capabilities in instant action, and you would in fact like the mode more if it had it. I hear you with bringing the other eras into it as well. I would love to play as the original trilogy and sequel trilogy characters in both instant action and co-op. Alright, we got two more comments to get to. This next one is from Mount Cinnamon, who says, Honestly, I wasn't expecting the AI to pack such a punch. Like, you really gotta work for those command posts, and they'll straight swarm you in hordes. Co-op so far feels like my favorite. And yeah, I will say that about the AI, it has dramatically improved. They actually make tactical decisions on the battlefront. They can strafe your shots, avoid danger, and try to get into a good position to take you out. If you're not careful in co-op, a big group of them can swarm you and your teammates, and you can possibly lose. You really don't get this experience in the arcade mode, so I am impressed with the bots in co-op specifically. And that brings us to our last comment for the day, which comes from Brian Williams, who says, Neither. F bots. I can kind of agree with that. Specifically in Capital Supremacy, I'm really not a fan of the AI in Capital Supremacy. If I could have it my way, it would be 32 players versus 32 players. When it comes to co-op and instant action, though, the AI is the meat and potatoes of that mode. That's cool if it's not for you, though. I know plenty of other players who don't like fighting AI, and they would prefer to go head-to-head -head with real players in multiplayer. It all comes down to personal preference, but I think these two new modes are great additions to the game because it gives us options. If you're not feeling online multiplayer on any given day, you can hop into instant action and still have a good, fun, laid-back time taking out bots and enjoying the scenery. Alternatively, if you're really looking for that hectic, fast-paced gameplay, grab a squad of three friends and hop into some co-op. And with that, I think that's a good place to end this video. Big thank you to everybody who participated in the poll and who left a comment. I'm sorry if I didn't get to your comment this time, but I will definitely be doing more of these discussion videos revolving around these polls. So if you see a poll up on my community tab, please feel free to participate and leave a comment. I just might get to it in the next one. Before you guys go, I want to introduce you to a fan-made Star Wars project that I'm becoming a huge fan of, Blackfall. This is a massive fan passion project. It's a three issue comic series that will include a tie in movie, which will all eventually be adapted into a web comic series. The amount of detail going into this project is massive. I've seen some of the concepts that I'm not quite allowed to share with you guys yet, and I was thoroughly impressed. The brains behind this project are serious, and once they're done, I know they're going to put out a fantastic product. You can follow everything happening with Blackfall on Instagram at SW underscore Blackfall. Give them a follow, and let them know that the Star Bazaar sent you. That's going to do it for this one, though. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked today's discussion, drop a comment below with your thoughts on co-op and instant action, and don't forget to check out Project Blackfall on Instagram. That's going to do it from me. I appreciate you all stopping by the Bazaar, and I'll see you out on the battlefront. Peace!
wise Jedi once said, nothing happens by accident. 